Hello. My name is Julie Doyle, and we are absolutely delighted to have you here at the St. Paul Area Athena Awards Luncheon. Today we're celebrating the accomplishments of 43 young women selected from their high school as an outstanding athlete. At your table, you will find programs highlighting these girls. On the back of your program is a list of sponsors who make this event possible. We are a nonprofit organization and we rely very much on the generosity of our donors and sponsors. We hope that you will consider becoming a donor or sponsor. At your table, you will find donation envelopes which you can complete today and leave in the basket at the registration table by the front doors or see one of our, our uh, committee members such as myself. At this time, I'd like to introduce our St. Paul Area Athena Award committee members. Committee members, will you please stand up? I'd like to say a quick word about this group. Our committee is composed of athletic directors, school administrators, community volunteers, and parents. If you're looking for an opportunity to make a difference and have only a small amount of time to volunteer, the Athena Awards may be a good fit for you. Please see the back of your program for contact information. And now I'd like to introduce our featured speaker for today, Beth Getz. It's an honor for me to introduce her. Um, Beth is the University of Minnesota's Interim Athletic Director. Beth was named to this position last summer, on August 7th, by University of Minnesota President Eric Kaler. She had previously served as a Deputy Athletic Director and Senior Woman Administrator since she joined the department in March 2013. Beth has played a significant role as one of, the, one of the department's senior administrators and serves as a top executive in overseeing the department's 25 sports, over 300 staff members, 725 student athletes, and an annual budget of more than $100 million. She's a very busy lady. Beth came to Minnesota from Butler University, where she was an Associate Athletic Director and Senior Woman Administrator from August 2008 to February 2013. She spent 12 years at the University of Missouri-St. Louis, which involved time as an Assistant Athletic Director, Senior Woman Administrator, and the Head Coach for Women's Soccer. She was inducted into the University of, of Missouri-St. Louis in their Sports Hall of Fame. Beth is an accomplished soccer player and was an All-American at Brevard College in North Carolina before heading to Clemson, where she continued her collegiate soccer career. Please give a warm welcome to Beth Getz. Good afternoon. It's such an honor to be here with you surrounded by all of these accomplished young women and to have the opportunity to recognize you all for your outstanding athletic achievement. The recognition you are receiving today is a reflection of not only all of the hard work you have put into your sport, but also of who you are and who you will become. I'd like to start by sharing a few lines from a poem I'm sure many of you are familiar with by Marian Williamson called Our Greatest Fear. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate, our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, to be gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. As we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Your accomplishments today are just the beginning, and through your athletic passion, you have garnered confidence, commitment, and leadership abilities that know no limits. This is just the beginning of your journey. Your time on the fields, courts, pools, and ice have taught you teamwork, dedication, time management, and how to relentlessly pursue excellence. Do not shrink from doubt or be deterred by challenges. Your experience as an athlete has taught you to be resilient 
and to face your opponents with courage. Research shows that this experience will translate to success. 94% of executive women have played sports and over half of those at the college level. 75% of employers will say your background in sport is influential, particularly in the hiring of young women. Sport has already taken you far, but keep going. For many of you, this piece of your identity that reflects a powerful, strong, and graceful athlete will continue to help guide you in your pursuits of a college education, a place in your community, and a future that sees you reach your goals. My wish for you all is that you continue to chase your dreams, learn from your failures, and embrace your light. Be true to yourself, be a leader with character, and never underestimate what you are capable of. Be brilliant, be gorgeous, be talented, and fabulous. Your future, my future, and all of us will be better for the impact you will make on your path to success. Thank you. I know, I'm short. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Beth. That was wonderful. Now it's time to honor each of our Athena Awards winners. We are so pleased to have Randy Shaver with us today to introduce each girl following the order in your program. Let me say a few words about Randy. Randy joined CARE 11 in 1983 as a sports reporter and started the segment Athletes of the Week. The next year he created Prep Sports Extra. Randy was the sports director at CARE 11 from 1994 to 2012. He became the evening news co-anchor in July 2012. Randy has won numerous regional Emmy Awards and a national Edward R. Murrow Award for sports reporting in 2006. Randy was proud to be inducted into the Minnesota Football Coaches Association Hall of Fame in 2004. He is a member of the Cedar Rapids Jefferson Hall of Fame in both football and track. For nine years, he coached football at Benilde St. Margaret and has coached youth traveling basketball for 17 years. Randy is a cancer survivor. Having been diagnosed with Hodgkin's disease in June 1998, he started the Randy Shaver Cancer Research and Community Fund, which raises funds for cancer research and patient aid in Minnesota since 1995. Please join me in giving Randy a warm welcome. All right, are we ready? My, my time is uh, one o'clock is the deadline. I've never been late for those who have been here. So we're gonna go fast, but we're gonna make it fun. First up is Clara Paul from Concordia Academy. Clara was second in the state long jump, third in the triple jump in the four by 100 meters, besides holding a school record in the triple jump in the four by 200. Academic All-State in basketball with an all-conference and honorable mention in four letters. In volleyball, she holds three letters, three all-conference honorable mention and academic All-State. She's a member of the National Honor Society and the Spanish Honor Society. She plans to run track at the University of Sioux Falls and study education. Clara Paul from Concordia Academy. Briasha Hobbs from Creighton Durham Hall. Briasha has nine all-conference awards in track and field for the 100, 200, 400 meter events at the 2014 state meet. She was first place in the 100 and 400 meters. Additionally, she took fourth place in the 100 meters, a second and a ninth place in the 200 meters, and a third and a fifth in the 400 meters over the course of her career. For four years, she has been a member of the uh, JROTC. She volunteers at Sober Home and Feed My Starving Children. Scholastically, she earned academic excellence and academic scholarship and is on the President's Honor Roll. She hopes to run in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics but next year, she'll run for the University of Minnesota. That's a great place to start. And she plans to be a doctor. <laughs> Impressive. Riasha Hobbs from Creighton Durham Hall. Ellie Schwartz from Hill Murray. Ellie, 
on the 2015 Class AA State All-Tournament Team for Volleyball, twice named the Lily Suburban Newspaper Maplewood Toyota's Athlete of the Week and second All-State Team, having received four letters and an All-Conference. Basketball holds five letters, All-Conference and Honorable Mention. Her other school activities include Peer Listening, National Honor Society, and Hill Murray Ambassador. She won a gold service award for her work with youth volleyball, youth basketball, Feed My Starving Children, and Catholic Athletic Association. For her academic talents, she was the Woodbury Magazine's Prep All-Star, won the St. Thomas Aquinas Award, and earned academic letters. She will play volleyball at the University of St. Thomas and plans to study journalism for her major. Look for her on TV down the road. Ellie Schwartz and Hill Murray. Sophie Netterberg from Mounds Park Academy earned 10 letters in her two sports, soccer and track and field, holds several school records, first in the four by 100 meters, second in the long jump and the triple jump relay, fourth in the triple jump, captain at all conference and also all conference honorable mention as well during her time in track. Her soccer achievements include being the third leading scorer in school history and the leading scorer on her team for the last three years, captain, MVP, twice offensive player of the year, all conference and honorable mention as well. She is a member of the Minnesota All-State Orchestra and band, her school concert band, wind ensemble and pit orchestra, and she's the band librarian. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm sure it's important. <laughs> Having earned the Mounds Park Academy Board of Directors Artist of the Year. She is a four-year member and leader this year of the Social Consciousness Club and is a three-year letter winner for robotics team as well. She is busy. She was the Section 4A triple winner and honor roll member and uh, four academic letters as well. She will attend Williams College. She's undecided right now on a major. Sophie Netterberg from Mounds Park <laughs> Academy. Abby Thor, New Life Academy, was a Ms. Minnesota Baden volleyball finalist, Pre Max Preps Volleyball All-American, member of the Pioneer Press and Star Tribune All-Metro teams, twice the All-State first team, five letters in this sport, four All-Conference, also team captain, one letter earned in basketball. Her leadership skills are used at National Honor Society President and Student Council Treasurer. She volunteers her time as a junior high assistant coach in volleyball and basketball. Academically, she's been on the Dean's List all, all the semesters and the Bible, Spanish, and Chemistry Student of the Year Award winner. She will take her volleyball talents as one uh, basketball player once said, as he was going to Miami, she will take her talents to UMD and she will study accounting. Abby Thor from New Life Academy. <laughs> Maria Tersh from St. Agnes was a Miss Soccer finalist, three-time MVP, two All-State, four All-Conference and four letters, captain of the basketball team earning four letters and two All-Conference. For track, two-time state participant in the 100 and 400 meter dash, having an academic all-state uh, letter to go with that as well. She's a member of the Pro-Life Club, a national honor society in the community. She works with Habitat for Humanity and Feed My Starving Children. Throughout high school, she has been on the principal's honor roll. She will attend the University of Minnesota and study nursing. Maria Tersh from St. Agnes High School. Bridget Hoffman from St. Paul Academy Summit School earned the Toughness Award, an MVP in soccer with four letters, all conference and honorable mention in hockey, received the Charlie Stryker Award and most improved player, captain and four-time letter winner. She was twice captain in lacrosse with four letters won in that sport. In other school activities, member of the Junior and Senior Leadership Council, student mentor on the debate team and doing art, uh, artistic electives, participated in Lace Up for Leukemia, Feed My Starving Children, and Toys for Tots. Throughout her high school, she's been on the honor roll one. I'm assuming that's the top level. She is uh, planning to attend Boston College and study computer science. Bridget Hoffman from St. Paul Academy and Summit School. 
Rebecca Wilkin from Trinity School at River Ridge. Rebecca is a runner, twice MVP of the cross country team, earning four letters, four all conference, three all section, and two all state. In track and field, she already holds four letters, four all conference, four all section, and all state as well, taken first in the conference four by 800, 3200 meter run, third in the pole vault. Pole vault. She's a member of her church youth group, youth choir, and helps at vacation Bible school, feed my starving children, and summer stretch. Academically, she's earned academic excellence awards in math, science, humane letters, and Latin. She will attend the University of St. Thomas to major in actuari actuarial science, I think I said that right, and run cross country and out, I know it's way above my pay grade, <laughs> and run cross country and track as well. Rebecca Wilkin from Trinity School at River Ridge. Abby Dolan, visitation, nine state championships in swimming, four of them, class A record hold, uh, records, one all-state record, and six all-American titles. Captain for two years, having been MVP four times, most improved a swimmer twice with five letters, four all-conference and four all-state. Currently captain of the track team, two letters in that sport and two all-conference. Additionally, she has a participation certificate for golf. A Eucharistic minister at school, volunteers with Crocus Hill Preschool for academics. She's been on the high honor roll all four years. Abby is going to take her uh, swimming talents to Notre Dame. And she is undecided right now what to study, but I'm sure she'll figure that out. Abby Dolan from Visitation. Kennedy Gay from St. Paul Central, a three-sport athlete, volleyball, two-time captain, most improved, three letters, an all-conference honorable mention, and basketball, two-time captain, rookie of the year, four letters, one, two-time all-conference. She in track and field, two letters, one, two-time all-conference, senior class president. Volunteer activities include student leaders, student mentoring, Feed My Starving Children, and 30 Days Foundation. Kennedy will attend Cloud County Community College and play basketball. She hopes to study and be pre-med. Kennedy Gay from St. Paul Central High School. Cassie Prescott, Como Park, has several records in softball, including team leader in runs scored, team leader in stolen bases, and most walks ever in a single season. Her team has been conference champion every year because of Cassie. For hockey, she has five letters, and her team won the Twin Cities Cup. For soccer, two-time letter winner and academic excellence section award winner. She lettered as the team manager in volleyball. How she found the time to do that, who knows? Her leadership skills are used at vice president, of National Honor Society, twice Vice President of Student Council. She is on the Student Faculty Building Plan Committee, Prom Committee, and Peer Mediation. Outside of school, she tutors at Como Elementary, coaches youth softball, volunteers with friends of the Como area, Minnesota Children's Museum, American Red Cross, National Kidney Foundation, and Planned Parenthood. On top of all, don't go away. <laughs> On top of all that, she is an AP scholar, the top 10 of her class, and on the A honor roll with distinction. Is that not impressive, what I just read? She's going to the University of South Carolina to study sports, entertainment, and management. Maybe someday she will be one of those sports agents we always hear about. Cassie Prescott from Como Park High School. Miranda LaFaver, Harding High. Miranda, the MVP and most improved for volleyball in two letters and all-state academic. MVP in softball, holds three letters in all-conference. Manager of the girls' basketball team as well. Other school activities include math team, night crew, student council, National Honor Society, and the morning announcement crew. She was an XL Award winner and is on the A honor roll. She plans to go to Hamlin University, undecided as yet what to study. Miranda LaFaver from Harding High School. All right, Amelia, here we go. Amelia Chepieska, did I say that right? Hallelujah! You should see how it's spelled. Look in your program. I'm serious, look in your program. I showed it to Julie Nelson last night and she turned blue. She could not figure it out. Amelia, two-time top 100 player in Minnesota and Pioneer Press Athlete of the Week in Volleyball. School career kill and ace leader. 
third in hitting percentage from Class AA in 2014. Most improved player, four-time letter winner. Softball, she got the zero strikeouts award, earning two letters. Homecoming queen, link crew leader, board member of the Highland Park Alumni Committee, involved with National Honor Society, youth and government, and Highland Park Giving Tree. Feed My Starving Children, Courage Retreat, Youth Volleyball, you name it, she's done it. She's in the top 10% of her class. She's going to South Dakota State to play volleyball and study mechanical engineering. Congratulations, Amelia. I'm not going to try and say your last name again. Highland Park. A.B. Nassau has been a state participant in badminton, two letters, all-conference honorable mention. She earned four letters in tennis, all-conference, two-time honorable mention, two all-state and academic all-state as well. Cross-country, she's earned one letter. She was homecoming queen and snow days princess and participates in robotics, ACE Mentorship Partnership, Mentor Partnership, National Honor Society and Friendship Club. Her volunteer activities include Karen Organization of Minnesota, the school store, We Day Site Council, Eco Lab, and Blood Drive. She's in the top 10% of her class on the A Honor Roll. She won a Dean's Scholarship at Gustavus, and that's where she will be heading to Gustavus Adolphus to major in nursing or physical therapy. A.B. Nassau from Humboldt High School. Jane Lindstrom, Johnson High, three-time captain in basketball, having earned four letters in all-conference and two-time honorable mention for volleyball, two-time captain with an MVP, three letters in that sport as well. Participated in golf as well. Other school activities are music and art related. She was in honors band, being first chair trumpet player and earning two letters. For jazz band, she was a soloist. She won the region solo and ensemble contest winner and part of the Ordway Honors Concert for three years. She volunteered at the photo booth for prom, coached youth gymnastics, and also volunteered at a pet store to be a dog walker. <laughs> I love that. Academically, on the A honor roll, three academic letters, student leadership, and advisory leader as well. She's going to go to the University of Wisconsin River Falls to major in biology. She also hopes to play volleyball and basketball if she can find the time. Jane Lindstrom from Johnson High School. Gabriella Soto, Washington Technology Magnet, Player of the Week in Volleyball, two-time letter winner, captain in volleyball and softball, additionally three-time letter winner in softball, two times in basketball as well. Uh, her other school activities include Action Team and Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers, participates in the Minnesota State Fair and Lake Failing Cleanups, and does Saturday school tu tutoring. She is a B honor roll student, wants to pursue a career in forensic scientists, as a forensic scientist, and plans to attend Hamlin University where she will play volleyball. Gabriela Soto from Washington Technology <laughs> Magnet. Sydney Bethke, Apple Valley, gymnast, six-time section letter winner, five-time MVP, two-time hardest worker, Rookie of the Year award, two All-State awards, five All-State honorable mention awards, four-time team captain, MVP of the soccer team with three letters, all-conference and honorable mention and a track, she's earned two letters. Volunteer activities include Feed My Starving Children, Soccer Camp Coach, and The Food Shelf. Scholastic achievements include two Eagle Excellence Awards, and for soccer, the Gold Award, Team Academic Excellence Award, and All Section Academic Honorable Mention. Sydney has a soccer scholarship. She's going to Bemidji State University, where she plans to major in nursing. Sydney Bethke from Apple Valley High School. Tara Chapman, Centennial, swimmer, several All-American awards, six school records, several pool records, four-time MVP, Pioneer Press Athlete of the Week, holds six letters in this sport. She has one letter in track with an all-conference uh, letter and holds the school record in the 4 by 800 meter relay. Her track team was conference and section champions. Her other school activities are fall marching band, wind ensemble, and peer leader. She's a member of the uh, church's student action leadership team. She earned the AAA and spotlight on scholarship awards with academic letters on the A honor roll. She will swim for the universe. Are you ready for this? 
<laughs> University of Minnesota, and attend the Carlson School of Business at the U. Congratulations, Tara Chapman, Centennial <laughs> High School. Sierra Stendahl, Chisago Lakes, MVP, Rookie of the Year, and Captain in Hockey, four-time letter winner, four all-conference academic award winner, all-state academic, Captain of the Tennis Team, earning three letters, four all-conference academic, and an all-state academic. Other school activities include band in ninth grade, National Honor Society, Link Crew, and Kitten Club, which mentors young skaters. In the community, she's a member of her church youth council and vacation Bible school guide and Sunday school helper, worked with the American Red Cross Blood Drive, Birchwood Nursery, Feed My Starving Children, Daddy Daughter Dance, Northwoods Humane Society, and Color Run and a West Virginia mission trip on top of all of that. She uh, received two Outstanding Achievement Awards in Woodworking and Freshman Seminar, and she will attend South Dakota State University. Her plan is to be a veterinarian, so she's studying animal science and biology. Congratulations, Sierra Stendahl, Chisago Lakes. <laughs> Olivia Mitchell, Egan, second in the state track meet in the 4x400 meters, sixth in the 4x800 last year, several other top 10 finishes in past years, holds the school and section records in the, those two events, captain of the team as well, four-time letter winner, cross-country team section champions twice, as well as being a Nike cross national qualifier and in the cross country qualifier and in the National High School Coaches Association Top 25, also two time letter winner in that event. Swimming and diving achievements include a state qualifier, getting three top 10 awards in freestyle and medley relay events as well. Also uh, given the Rookie of the Year Award and an MVP award as well. Peer Tudor, Vice President of Student Ambassadors and a member of the National Arts Honor Society, National Honor Society and World Language Society. Uh, academically, National Merit Scholar, Commended Student, AP Scholar, and on the A Honor Roll. Olivia will swim for the Panthers at Middlebury College in Vermont, and she plans to study neuroscience. Olivia Mitchell from Egan High School. Catherine Scheibner from Eastridge, captain this year and assistant captain for two years prior to hockey, earned academic All-State, four Spotlight on Scholarship Award winner, three Hardest Working Award winners, four letters overall in soccer, received the Raptor Award, four Spotlight and Scholarship Awards, four-time letter winner, and she was captain. Her leadership skills are used by the Key Club, National Honor Society, High Schools Against Cancer, as she's a board member of these groups. She's also, she also tutors in mathematics, physics, and Chinese. She volunteers with the East Ridge Mulching and Prairie Cleanup. I could use a little of that at my house, so if you're <laughs> interested, Minnesota Special Olympic uh, Poly Hockey. Youth Soccer, Relay for Life, and Feed My Starving Children. Her scholastic achievements, Raptor Recognition Award twice, A Honor Roll all four years, and four-time academic letter winner. Catherine will attend the U.S. Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs. She is undecided as to what to study. I'm sure she'll figure that part out. Catherine Scheibner from Eastridge. <laughs> Kelly Smith, Eastview three times state champion in the high kick dance and twice champion in jazz, was on the state all tournament team for high kick. Her team also took four conference championships in high kick, jazz, and overall three times section champion in high kick and four in jazz. In soccer, led the team in goals and assists was Ms. Offense for the team, has two letters and an all conference honorable mention. Thus far, her track and field endeavors have included 13th in the state high jump, third place in sections, Rookie of the Year Award, and the most valuable vertical jumper. I've never heard of that award before, but that's impressive. Four-time letter winner as well. She's also a member of the Link Leadership uh, Committee, and here's the best part. She's going to Iowa State. <laughs> Honest to God, people, we need more dancers at Iowa State. We really do. Congratulations, she's going to Iowa State. She's undecided what to study. She will figure that out because there's so many helpful people at Iowa State <laughs> that will help her out. Kelly Smith from Eastfield. I'm a cyclone. Chelsea Gerke, Farmington. 
Section 1AA Swimmer of the Year, broken the 100 breaststroke record, school records in the 200 freestyle relay, 100 butterfly, and 100 breaststroke, earned two all-state awards and four-time all-conference. You can guess with her swimming talents, a Red Cross lifeguard and swim instructor, works with Special Olympic Swimming. She's also involved with National Honor Society, Link Crew, Wind Ensemble, and the Yellow Ribbon Club, tutors in math and writing. She earned two academic letters. She will go to St. Cloud State University and plans to study mathematics. Chelsea Gerke from Farmington High School. Emma Benner, Forest Lake, participated in the state cross country meet six times, having been twice conference champ and three times section champion, captain twice, holds three MVP awards, rookie of the year award, six time letter winner, uh, has the school record in the four by 800 meters and the sophomore record in the 16 and 3200 meters. Her team was three time conference champion and section champion and three time participant in the state true team meet, captain of that team as well with two MVP awards, member of National Honor Society. Her broad range of volunteer activities include Special Olympics and youth soccer coach, Northwoods Humane Society, therapeutic riding, 4-H and Hugo Parks and Rec. Scholastically earned four academic letters, three-time All-State academic, and on the A honor roll every semester. She will run cross country and track, don't get mad Beth, at Purdue <laughs> and major in health and human, uh, human sciences. Emma Benner from Forest Lake High School. Caitlin Radke, Hastings, Ms. Hockey Finalist, Metro East Conference Player of the Year, third team All-Metro, two-year captain, earning five letters, four-time All-Conference, academic All-State as well, cross-country, captain her freshman year, Rookie of the Year Award winner, and two-time letter winner, holds two soccer letters, All-Conference Honorable Mention, and on the All-Section team. Additionally, has won a letter in track. Other school activities, National Honor Society and Link Crew member. Uh, since 2008, she has volunteered with the Gobblegate on Thanksgiving Day. I assume that's some sort of a run. She also works with Feed My Starving Children and Youth Hockey and Little Sister Mentoring Program. She's an XL Award winner, four academic letters. She will play hockey at Bemidji State University and plans to study biology. Caitlin Radke from Hastings High School. Hannah Delmont, Henry Sibley, captain for volleyball, received Best Hustle Award, five letters, and all-conference honorable mention. Captain and MVP and Best Offensive Player in softball, three-time letter winner. One letter in basketball, participates in choir, student council, link crew, volunteers her coaching abilities to Special Olympics, bell ringing for the Salvation Army, cleaning and decorating her church, doing child care for the Parent Academy and working at Feed My Starving Children. She has earned six Spotlight on Scholarship Awards and has been on the AB Honor Roll all four years. She is heading to St. Ben's. She's not exactly sure what she'll study, but like I've said before, she'll figure it out. Hannah Delmont from Henry Sibley High School. Emily Brandt, Irondale, number one singles tennis player for Irondale for three years, earned MVP award, made it to sections for four years. She was team captain, earned six letters in this sport. In track, led her four by 400 meter relay team to state last year. Also four by 800 and four by 400 meter teams were conference champions. In addition, she was fifth in the high jump at sections. Wow, she is tall. As you can see, definitely earned uh, her versatility awards that she's won. It's very unusual to see a runner uh, also be uh, a high jumper like that. She is student body president, peer mentor, participates in mock trial where she was MVP and captain. You're not gonna win an argument. She earned academic All-State for four years in both tennis and track. In addition, four-year AP scholar and earned the Academic Excellence Award. She is heading to Madison to study, Wisconsin Madison, to study marketing and international business. Emily Brandt from Irondale High School. <laughs> Hannah Cole, Lakeville North, Ms. Soccer, the Minnesota Gatorade Player of the Year. 
the NSCAA State Player of the Year, Star Tribune and Pioneer Press Player of the Year, All Metro First Team, Top Drawer Soccer All-American, South Suburban Conference Player of the Year, three-time letter winner, two-time All-Conference and All-State, member of National Honor Society, Fellowship of Christian Athletes and Connecting Youth and Faith. Volunteer activities include Feed My Starving Children, Habitat for Humanity, Youth Coaching, and Second Storic. She holds numerous academic awards in English, social studies, math, world language, and Phi Head. She is going to Iowa State. <laughs> this is a good day. And she's going to study pre-med. She wants to be a doctor. Hannah Cole from Lakeville North. <laughs> Josie Johnson, Lakeville South. State champion in the track, 4x400 meter relay, set an all-time record. Team was state champion last year, true team champion in 2013 and 14, runner-up last year, besides being section and conference champions for three years running. Earned two, uh, three letters, rather, in track, two-time all-conference and all-state. She earned three letters in soccer. Her team was the section 1-4A runner-up in basketball, holds three winner, uh, letters in that sport, two-time all conference honorable mention, member of choir, band, and National Honor Society. Her sports abilities allow her to be a great coach at youth soccer, basketball, and toddler soccer, which I'm sure is just <laughs> tremendous. She, you got to have patience for that. She makes blankets to give to various shelters and volunteers with Feed My Starving Children. AP Scholar, three academic All-State Awards, three South Suburban Scholastic Awards, and two awards of excellence. She won the XL and AAA Awards. She is gonna to go to St. Cloud State. She's gonna play basketball and plans on studying engineering or pre-med. Josie Johnson, Lakeville South. Caitlin Magali, Matamidai, cross country, twice conference runner of the year, being the individual champion both years, participated in the state meet twice, captain of the team in basketball, won the Zephyr Pride Award, captain and four-time letter winner, softball, she's the current captain and four-time letter winner. She was her school's representative to Girls State, member of National Honor Society and student ambassadors. Outside of school, volunteers at her church, was a counselor for three years at the Muscular Dystrophy Association camp. Academically, she's been a high honor roll student every year. Caitlin is going to go to Marquette University, and she plans to study pre-health. Caitlin Magali from Matamidai. <laughs> Sydney Broke, Moundsview. Ms. Hockey finalist, twice MVP for her team, member of the gold medal USA U18 national team, holds five letters in this sport, four-time all-conference, two-time all-state, member of the Mustang Mentors. Volunteer activities include adopt a family, youth hockey, and making blankets for hospitals. Earned academic all-state award has been on the honor roll all four years. She will play hockey at UMD and study business. Sydney Brote, Moundsview. <laughs> Michaela Johnson, North Branch, twice took third in the state and seventh place in pole vaulting. And uh, again, uh, plans to be a pole vaulter in college. We'll talk about that in a second. Her gymnastics team took fourth and fifth in the state. She got the state beam championship twice in the vault once, three-time letter winner in that sport. She's a member of Link Crew, National Honor Society, 4-H, and Youth Group. Volunteer activities are Arts Fest, Respect Retreat, and Road Cleanup. I hope that road cleanup was voluntary and nothing other than that. <laughs> She's been on the A-B honor roll all four years. She's going to pole vault, and that's not an easy thing to do for all of us former track Folks, this is a very difficult part of this sport at the University of North Dakota and plans to study criminal justice on top of all that. Michaela Johnson from North Branch. <laughs> Jane Bodie, North St. Paul, MVP, most improved, rookie of the year in cross country, twice captain, six time letter winner, two all conference two All-State, two All-State academic. In cross-country skiing, she was the MVP, Rookie of the Year, three-time letter winner. For swimming, she was a letter winner and Rookie of the Year. Currently, she's captain of the track and field team, earning most improved uh, track member, five-time letter winner, two-time all-conference. Student council, 
National Honor Society, and Tudor Club. In the community, she participates in Feed My Starving Children, Girl Scouts. She's an AP scholar on the A Honor Roll, all four academic letters, uh, all four years winning academic letters. She will continue her running career at the University of Minnesota, and she will study biology. Jane Bodie from North St. Paul. <laughs> Allie Gores Park, three times state qualifier in track and field, team captain, six time letter winner, eight time all conference, four honorable mentions, and two all state. Captain of the basketball team, four time letter winner, two all conference honorable mention, member of Link Crew, and leaders of the pack. Her volunteer activities, uh, her, her basket, she her, uh, she's, uses her basketball skills as a CGAA volunteer and doing Saturdays at the park. She holds three academic letters and four-time academic All-State winner. Allie will play basketball at the University of North Dakota and plans to study English. Allie Gores from Park High School. <laughs> Alexa Tessing Randolph, currently captain of the softball team. Captain in her other two sports, basketball and volleyball. Softball accomplishments include one-time letter winner, all-conference honorable mention. For basketball, she was twice named the best defensive player, earning two letters. In her fall sport of volleyball, three-time letter winner, two, uh, all-conference, two-time MVP of her team, and most improved. Participates in National Honor Society, the school play and senior leadership. Her community activities are vacation Bible school and youth basketball. She is a AAA award winner with a GPA of 4.0 and six-time academic all-conference winner. She will attend Winona State University and study exercise science. Alexa Tessing from Randolph High School. <laughs> Brittany McLean from Rosemount. Miss Volleyball, Star Tribune, All Metro, twice, Pioneer Press, All East Metro, twice time winner, twice uh, a winner. She holds school records for total kills with 1,558, season kill record with 490, and career aces with 133. If you're a volleyball player, you know those numbers are extremely uh, impressive. Captain of the team, five time letter winner, three time all conference, two time all state. She's a member of the band and prom committee. Volunteer activities include youth volleyball, Feed My Starving Children, Second Hand Hounds, a great organization, and her church. She holds four scholar athlete awards and has been on the AB honor roll. She will play volleyball at the University of Minnesota and study kinesiology. Brittany McLean from Rosemount High School. Sarah Hain, volleyball player from Roseville, three-time state tournament participant, four, uh, taking fourth place twice, and conference champion, captain of the team, four-time letter winner, basketball, conference champion, captain of the team, four-time letter, letter winner, and all-conference. State track meet participant in the four by 800 meters, having earned two letters in track and two all-conference honorable mentions. Other school activities include Minnesota House, of Representatives High School PAGE program, DECA and National Honor Society. Volunteer endeavors include youth basketball, Feed My Starving Children, Loaves and Fishes, Vacation Bible School, and church mission trips. She is the in the top 5% of her class, having been on the A Honor Roll every trimester. She holds an academic letter in all state academics, letters in basketball and track. She will play volleyball at the Stevens Institute of Technology in Hoboken, New Jersey, and she plans to major in business and technology. Impressive. Sarah Hain from Roseville High School. <laughs> Abby Klein, or Kine rather, from Simley. Abby was a Miss Basketball nominee, Pioneer Press East Metro Player of the Year finalist, third team All-Metro Star Tribune. Scored over 2,000 points in her career, holds the school record for points and rebounds, captain of the team, twice athlete of the week, most improved winner with six times a letter winner in the sport. Volleyball, twice captain, received five letters in the sport, four all-conference honorable mention awards, academic all-state, most improved player and MVP. Softball, 
Rookie of the Year, Golden Glove Award winner, four-time letter winner, three all-conference honorable mention winner, and three academic excellence awards. Participates in National Honor Society, Relay for Life, Spanish Club, attended the Region 3AA Target Leadership Workshop and Metro East Conference Academy. In the community, she works with the South St. Paul on the Road Again and the Young People Society at her church. She earned the Spartan Award five times with three academic letters, a language arts and physical education award winner on the A honor roll all four years. She will attend Northern Colorado and plans to study exercise science. Abby Kine from Simley High School. Elise Barnes, South St. Paul, captain for the second time of her softball team, three-time MVP of the team, two-time offensive player, six-time letter winner. Basketball, Miss Hustle, offensive player of the year, earning four, time, uh, four letters in this sport, all-conference and honorable mention, twice named captain. In tennis, rookie of the year, an academic all-state winner with two letters. Volleyball, she won two letters. In weightlifting, she has five letters with three power clean records. How much? How much do you lift? Yeah, you do. How much? Well, whatever it is, I know it's more than what I can do. Her other school activities are National Honor Society, Diversity Leadership Club, and Key Club. She has been on the Academic Gold Honor Roll for all four years. She will play softball at the University of St. Thomas and plans to major in exercise science. Elise Barnes, South St. Paul. <laughs> Cecilia Peterson, Stillwater. Three-time state qualifier in Nordic skiing, twice captain of the team, four-time letter winner, captain and four-time letter winner in cross country. Track and field, been to the state meet three times, three-time letter winner. Key club member and an officer in the National Honor Society. Her volunteer activities include three mission trips to Mexico. Scholastically, she's an academic letter winner and the 2015 Book Award winner. She plans, she's undecided right now on where to go to college. She knows she wants to study chemistry, but uh, she's still trying to figure out where. I'm sure it'll be an easy choice once she uh, figures it out. Cecilia Peterson, Stillwater High School. <laughs> Erica Nolby, track. 1,600 meters, 3,200 meter conference champ. 3,200 meter section champ. School records in the 1,600 meter, 3,200 meters, four by 800 meter relay, and the mile. Participated in the state meet, captain three times, holding six letters, three-time all-conference. Cross country, six-time letter winner, six-time all-conference, an MVP. I'm gonna read something that her coach wrote about her that uh, he would like read, and, I, and I've read this and I think it's great. And this is what he wrote. It's an abbreviated quote from her coach. Erica began running varsity track and cross country in seventh grade, an all-state competitor and set school records. After her sophomore year of running, Erica was diagnosed with an inherited heart condition. Doctors told Erica and her parents that competitive running would be risky. She could not exert herself to the extent to which she was accustomed. The idea that Erica would have to compete at anything less than 110% or worse, that her running career could be over, was devastating. After some very difficult deliberations, Erica did return to running her junior year. She adjusted to her new restrictions and enjoyed running two more years. She's the definition of resilient. She is a positive and supportive team member, a competitor, a true leader, and an inspiration. And let me tell you, I think that says a lot about Erica. School activities, National Honor Society, Link Crew Leader, Relay for Life, Student Council, top 10% academically in her class. She will attend Bethel University to major in elementary education. Erica Nolby from Tartan High School. <laughs> Peyton King, White Bear Lake, three-time most determined award winner for hockey. She was a two-time captain, four-time letter winner, two-time all-conference, and academic all-state winner. Captain and MVP of the tennis team. 
earning four letters, all conference, and twice honorable mention, an academic All-State. In addition to her tennis, she was manager for the boys' tennis team. Other school endeavors are student council, National Honor Society, and FCA Bible study. Coordinated the White Bear Lake District Food Drive, which collected 18,000 pounds of food. Her hockey skills are used as a youth hockey volunteer in coaching the handicapped sledge hockey team, and she was named Volunteer of the Year in that organization. Academically, National Merit Scholar Commended Student, an XL Award nominee, a four-year President's and Principal's Award winner, and a three-time Right Now, and Right spelled like you would write, Right Now Regional Competition winner with four academic letters. She uh, plans to study business and English at Boston College University. Peyton King from White Bear Lake. And last but not least, Kathleen Danielson, Woodbury High School. Two-time individual state qualifier at Nordic skiing, captain, two-time most outstanding runner, uh, skier rather, most valuable and rookie of the year, four-time letter winner, three-time all-conference. For cross country, she won the Lion Award, four-time letter winner, and two honorable mention all-conference. She holds one letter in track. Other school activities are National Honor Society, French Club, and Environmental Club, volunteers with the St. Paul Parks and Rec. She is an AP Scholar with Distinction, a National Merit Finalist, a four academic letter winner, and the Scholastic Gold Key Writing Award. She will attend Carleton College and plans to major in English. Kathleen Danielson, Woodbury High School. And how about we give all of the winners one last round of applause. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you, Randy. Uh, if those of you that, that didn't catch it, he's an Iowa State grad. <laughs> He didn't do my college, you know, when, I, when, when I'm St. Cloud State, so. And there's a couple going there. He could have. All right. We have one more award today, and this is going to a member of our committee. This person has represented the St. Paul Public Schools on our committee for numerous years. She's out there and she's shaking her head. I can see her now. <laughs> she, she has been an AD at several schools. She coached badminton, which brought the badminton up in the St. Paul schools. In addition, she <coughs> has been the contact on our committee for the cable guy, as we always like to say at our committee. Every year she gets the cable guy to come to, the, to the, our committee. She will retire this year as AD and hopes to travel and do her love of horses. Nancy Galligan, would you please come forward? Of course, we did this behind her back. <laughs> you can say something. <laughs> I just want to say thank you, and it's been such an amazing um, couple of years of working on this committee and watching these amazing ladies. Um, I was kind of Title IX, so I didn't get to participate in the athletics that these young ladies get to, and I always think the world is safe because after listening to all their accomplishments, it's amazing what they can do and where they will go. So thank you very much. I want to thank everyone for attending today. Remember, we did put envelopes on the table for any donations, and you can put them in the basket. If you need additional envelopes, they're available by the basket at outside. 
uh, girls or ADs or whoever brought, don't forget to take your posters. And thank you for coming. And have a great day.